Hello, hello everyone. How are we today? Lori from Art Lore. Okay, so today I'm really excited. I'm going to do a single bloom. I've been really obsessed with these lately. Uh, this one's going to be on a gallery wrap, 18 by 24. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the same colors on a 15 by 30 gallery wrap with uh, five blooms, and that turned out really, really pretty. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'll pick it up where um, I'm just about to spin. Um, you, you, you know how, you know, the, I just don't want that. I just don't want the video to be too long. So I'll pick it up where I'm going to spin. And um, yeah, I think today's colors are going to be interesting. They're new for me. Uh, the palette is anyway. I um, generally don't do um, virtually one color. So I did three golds today, a creamy white, and then Van Dyke Brown. And then black is my cell activator. So we're gonna get down to the canvas. We're gonna make a mess. But first, I'm gonna show you my pretty golds. And um, yeah, so let's get to it. And don't forget, there's a little bonus video at the end. All right. Oh, and check this out. I got my Fluid Art Co. Pouring Mat. I'm so excited. Um, I put it on, but I don't have my sides up yet. So um, hopefully it won't be too messy today. Um, I, I did cut it um, with an X-Acto knife. And um, so far, so good. I'm not seeing any fraying but I'm not going to be disturbing the mat's edges whatsoever, so I think it'll be okay. Um, I still have that corner over there to finish, so I've got some hanging over. I'll have to do like three different um, pieces to piece it together before I can put my sides back up. But anyway, all right, so here we go. First up is uh, Amsterdam Deep Gold, and it's just a pretty, pretty gold. And this is going to go on last. And hopefully we'll get some fun cells. The ever so gorgeous TLP Harvest Gold. No explanation for that because it's just yumalicious. That's all I got to say. And we all know that. Okay. Uh, this next one is just plain old white. And I honestly don't remember the white that I used, but what I did add to it is the Golden's Iridescent uh, Pearl Fine. I added that to the, to, the, to the white to get it kind of shimmery because I wanted everything to be shimmery. Shimmy, shimmy. I wanted everything to shimmer, <laughs> um, except for the Van Dyke Brown. This one here is Arteza uh, Yellow Ochre, and then I added the uh, golden pearl, um, the iridescent pearl. I added that in there and get, so I can get my shimmer going on there. So they all, all four of these have a shimmer. And then of course, the lovely Van Dyke Brown. So there we have it. So I'm hoping I don't make too much of a mess today. And I want to make sure you are in focus, and you are. Okay, so let's see here. I want to do the bloom more this way so that it, the petals will come out the length. This is 18 by 24, so I want the petals to come out this way and obviously to the, to the sides, but I really want it so that they can... Uh, position it on the wall potentially long ways with the 24 going horizontal. Okay, so we are going right for the middle and we're going to start with the Van Dyke Brown. You know, I'm wondering if I should start with my yellow ochre. I think I'll start with the yellow ochre first. And then I actually will do um, the Van Dyke Brown over that. And then I might just put a scant of the yellow ochre just over that, just a teeny bit. I don't know why. I have no clue why. Don't ask me. Um, okay. 
So now let's see. Yes, I want to do my white. Paints I think are a little bit thick. I was I'm pressed for time because I have an appointment at noon and I really want to get this done. And I came down here and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm so putting this on there. And I should not have done that, but I'm running out of time. So okay, so here we go with the harvest gold. I'm putting a lot of that on because I really want to see the gold in there. Um, and we're going to end with the Amsterdam. I think I'll put just a little bit more. Okay. And here we go with our cell activator, which is three to one. And it's the Aussie Flow Troll with Oxide Black. And my pillow is the Multi Pro by PPG, and it's the interior eggshell. Okay, here we go. I'm actually going to pop a couple of these little bad boys just because there are a lot. Okay, there we go. All right, so here we go, cell activator. All right, we're going to go cool fan, medium air. Okay, sorry for the long noise there, but I really um, wanted my cells to be quite large around the center. So I, on low, I just kept hitting them to make them larger than what they were 
as they were setting up. So this is looking really good. Um, it's exactly what I wanted. So let's hope it blows out exactly the way I wanted. Um, yes, let's see here. I almost feel like I want to just work this in just a little bit. I'm afraid to get my table dirty. Ah! Okay. Um, I'm going to push that in a little bit. Because I want to see that to stay like a little line there, a, a separation there. That's not so bad, um, right here. Well, that didn't work, but that's okay because that's right there, so that should be okay. All right, you know what? I'm going to give this a little bit of time to set up and um, then we're going to spin. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We're ready to spin. Got everything filled in. And I just wanted you to see the center bloom um, where the cells are. You can see how large they are. And that's, they were very, very tiny, similar to the white ones, which is, I hit my pillow again, but similar to the white ones. And if you blow those out a little bit on low speed, um, obviously they get larger. But now when I spin out, that's really going to show some pretty lacing. At least I hope so. So let's give this a try. Uh, we're going to spin right now. And let me pop you back in here. And we'll get you in focus in a moment. There you are. And I think we're good. Okay. Yep, I think we're good. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do this. And I want to make sure you're still in focus. And you are. Okay, I'm just like hypersensitive because I have screwed up like five videos. I have to throw them all away. Okay, so, um, all right. New table mat. We're going to spin. We're going to make a mess on my new mat. I'm excited. All right. Got all my paints put away so that we don't... Um, Spin out my paint into my newly made paints. All right, let's just see where we are. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's what I was going for. Not bad at all. Really pretty. Um, I'm going to do another one this way. Hold on, Oop. hold on. All right, we're going to press that right there just to get it so that it starts coming off the edge. And so when I spin, it'll really flow. Love the colors, love all the golds, and the Van Dyke brown uh, paired very well. Even though I don't look at it as being brown to me, it's more gray with a brown undertone. Um, but I guess it's could be brown with a gray undertone. I don't know. It doesn't. Make, it doesn't. Um, it when I first see it, I don't see brown. I see gray. But I don't care. I love it. It's like a gorgeous color. Oh yeah. This is exactly what I was looking for. One ginormous bloom. Yes. Okay, so now, um, although the cells did not lace up as much as I thought, I didn't think, I, I thought they would carry off more 
into the petal, but they didn't, but they, they stayed in the center, but they're really pretty. Um, when I take you down and show you, um, they're actually like little peacock cells in there. Um, even though I didn't use white cell activator, they've got like three or four different colors going on all at the same time. So, um, yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so I just want to take a little measure roomy here and just see how much paint I do have left on. Oh, hardly at all. Yay, we're done spinning. Yippee, skippy. Okay, I just want to check all my corners. Well, this is nice and fluid just to make sure everything is covered and perfect. And I need to see what this is. Oh, it was just a bubble. There's a boo-boo there. So we're going to just do that and it can just flow down. And then this back corner is good. And that is good as well. Oh my gosh, this mat is so lovely. Um, it was a little interesting to get on my table because my table is, I have Formica put on my table, thinking that my the Formica, the paint would just peel right off. It does not. Um, so it was not slippery at all. So I had to roll it all up in a tiny roll and then just work it down and kind of, take out the bubbles and pull and stretch and work it. But I'm telling you, this baby is stuck on there and it is not moving and I love it so far. So, okay, let's, um, I'm going to turn you this way and we're going to take you down. I love the negative space here. I love it here because this petal is gorgeous and the negative space here divided this petal, this one, is divided. This is where I blew a little bit. I blew, I think, here a little bit, and that's divided for that petal. That one is divided all on its own, and this one is divided. So we have one, two, three, four. We have five petals, and that's exactly what I was going for with negative space in between each petal. So total success. Yay. Okay, so let's take you down. And there it is. Very, very pretty. And there's my center. See, there's the, um, let me grab my skewer. Right here, these are the, these are the um, cells that I had blown out with my dryer on low, but they're, but they're pretty. And they really, um, let me see if I can get you in focus. See, they're really pretty. You can see the um, the Van Dyke brown kind of faded out with the with the golds, but the golds are all wrapped around and intertwined, and they married very well. Look at that beautiful gold in there. Very very pretty. Yeah. So there it is. Thanks so much for joining me today and hang on tight because we've got the same colors on a 15 by 30 and uh, hope you enjoy both the videos. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye. Alrighty, here we are. We're going to spin and please let me know if this bugs you, but I, you know, I'm obsessed with cells and the blooms and I love to see the cells before you spin it out so that you can, you know, envision what it looked like before and then you get your end result. So if this bugs you, let me know and then I won't do it anymore. Um, but I probably will still do it once in a while. Um, but I've been doing it like a lot lately and if it's annoying, just let me know. Um, okay, so here we go. Here's the first bloom and the cells are so pretty. And the gold, the golds pairing with each other and the Van Dyke Brown, it's just really, really pretty. Um, here's the, uh, that was the first bloom we did. 
And then there's the center bloom that was after we did the first two. That was um, the, the layering. And then there's that, uh, the first or the second bloom. And then there's the uh, bloom in the corner there. And the one in the corner and the one in the lower corner, I started out with the yellow ochre mixed with the uh, iridescent pearl fine. And that really came through. So I think it's really pretty. So I'm really excited to spin. So let's get you up here. Make sure you're in focus. Just gonna raise you up just a teeny bit. Boom. And there you are. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, I gotta move this out of the way. Okay, lots of cleaning, I'll tell you. Okay, so we're just going to go gentle. See what happens. That's kind of like way gentle. Let's go a little bit more. We know we're going to lose the two corner ones, but I hope that some of the uh, yellow ochre mixture stays on there in the corners somewhere. Um, because it's just such a pretty color. I almost wish I would have started with that as my first two blooms, but hey, you know, live and learn. Maybe I'll do another one and we'll, we'll see. We'll start it over and rearrange. Do these two last and do these three, but, I, but see, there's three. Ugh, ooh. So yeah, okay. Uh, this is really pretty, really, really pretty. So um, I kind of want to go this way because I'm hoping that will come off to make it a little bit more stretched out. And um, we have a lot of uh, pillow coming off, which is what I want. And um, Yes, yes, yes. I kind of want that to come off there. Um, but I guess it's not bad. I do have a little bit of negative space going on this side, but you know, I'm going to be spinning it again. So um, I can definitely guarantee you that um, that will come off. So let me check everything here. And I'm just going to give it a little scoop de do and make sure all my corners, which they are not, oops. Do you ever like clean up your, your table or, um, and then find all kinds of things like painted down, glued and stuck to the table? I found a, a couple of skewers. I found a orange wood stick or I mean a popsicle stick. I even found um, a palette knife, a small palette knife. Okay, I don't want any black on this corner, but I don't mind the Van Dyke brown. Um, yeah, this one I don't mind the Van Dyke brown because there is some there. So, everything is spilling off the edge very nicely. Lots of paint coming off, which means I had a lot of paint on the canvas. But I think I, I feel like I have been, at first I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have like, tons of paint on the canvas. So I put way too much. Then I pulled back and then I wasn't adding enough. So um, I feel like I did not hit the pillow nearly as much in this one here because I added more pillow and I had more of a pillow to push the paint. So, but I don't know if I added too much. So let's do this again. Let's spin one more time. Um, I do want to go this way with it. I'm just going to go one more time and see what happens if that can, those little 
corners or those little one spots there will come off and I can get rid of that negative space. That one's not coming, but that's okay. Um, I could always tilt, um, but I think what I might do is pull that forward. I'm going to get rid of some of this though. I'm going to pull it forward this way. Yes, the um, Van Dyke Brown, it is Van Dyke Brown through there, the gray brown, but it's also picking up very taupey in spots. And I am loving that. It is absolutely beautiful. Where's my skewer? Okay, I just want to see how deep we are here. Um, it's not too bad, but I do think I need to spin another time. Um, I think I'd like to pull this forward though. And I think I'm going to, go right about there. And now we'll give it another spin and see if I can just get that off on there. I don't know if that'll, I don't even know if that helps. I'm sure it does, but I'm probably doing it backwards, knowing me. Yeah, it's not coming. Um, it sure is pretty though. Okay, so because that bugs me, um, I'm going to see if I can just lightly tip this because I do not want to lose too much. Very, very, very slowly. Okay, so now let's do it again. Whoa, did you see that? That was scary. I think my canvas could potentially have just flown off my Lazy Susan here. I've got way too much paint here. That was so close. Whoa, that was close. Okay, so let's just do a little one. It's coming. Almost there. I almost feel like I could just blow that out, but I really like that line in there. And if I blow it out, I'm going to lose that demer. I'm going to lose that line that's in there. And I really don't want to lose that. So I'm going to lift this up again and scoop out some of this paint and scoop the bottom off the best I can and then just let it sit there like so. And then we're just going to do a baby spin. Holy crap, I'm nervous now. Whoa, I am shaking in my boots here. and it came off. There we have it. Whoa, that was a close call. Okay, so I did 
lose my bloom in the upper corner there, but I still have this one here. And there is a tad of the uh, yellow ochre, which it ties in quite nicely with everything else. I'm in love with it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Now I just hope it dries nice. So, okay, I'm gonna take you down and let you see the results after the, the spinning. You saw the before, I'm gonna move this right there. You saw the before, now we can check out the after. All right. That is so pretty. Loving the color combination. Very, very different for me, um, but it, it was, it's fun. I really like it. And I think I might want to do a couple more in smaller ones. Yes, indeed. So there you have, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today and letting me come into your home. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Would love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, bye.